already buzzed. I've only had half of it. <laughs>Welcome to Shaken, the cocktail travel show. I'm Matt Biggers. I travel all around the world visiting cool, unique, really fun bars. And I'm in Cincinnati today at Tiki Tiki Bang Bang. And as you can see around me, they've got this whole video store vibe going on, right? So like you walk in, you think it's a video store, but actually you go into the adult section there and it's a full tiki bar. I am from Cleveland, Ohio. I grew up in a suburb not far from, and my husband and I were back visiting family, and we saw a functioning video store. And we were so enamored with the fact that this was still functioning. If you look around, they got all kinds of fun movies. They've even got Mannequin. I don't know if you've seen Mannequin, but it is Kim Cattrall's greatest movie ever. Best movie of the mid 80s. Andrew McCarthy, we've got Kim Cattrall. There's motorcycles for goodness sakes. Look, they even got a mannequin right here. I love this place already. What is going on? This is, this is a weird place. These are weird people. We wanted to do something different and, and something incredible and sort of put on a show for people. And so we knew that there was a need for some sort of speakeasy or something fun where you could bring people from out of town. It was something to talk about. It was something to show your friends. Some sort of speakeasy concept because it didn't exist in Cincinnati. And when we saw this video store, we like the light bulbs went off. We thought, what if we had a video store? Right. You could certainly buy rent trade and people did. And I met the video clerk. He seemed a, a bit stiff. <laughs> ah! Oh my God. Tell me, what, what are we drinking today? So we're drinking It's a Plunderful Life. We hate puns around here. Right, right, clearly. We don't like to take it too far. <laughs> Aloha, I'm Michael Stelzner, skipper here at Tiki Tiki Bang Bang, and welcome to Shaken, an original cocktail travel show. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make one of our house signature cocktails. It's a Plunderful Life. Now, It's a Plunderful Life is a uh, kind of, I guess you could say, a pinch and roll of a historical grog. We want to bring to you through this cocktail that entire experience of having a pirate's life using some mesquite smoke and a little bit of salt to capture that brininess, but also, of course, a rum blend that should capture some of the historical elements of what people would actually be drinking during this time frame. So the Plunderful Life features, first and foremost, a blend of three really incredible rums here. We've got Smith & Cross. This is a Jamaican rum. It is naval strength, which means it is over 100 proof. I believe this is 57% ABV. A blend of Plummer and Wellerburn pot stills to have that big hogo funk. We've also got here Plantation OFTD. Really delicious product blend of Jamaican, Barbadian, and Demerarian rums. Also a really high octane rum here. And last but not least, some Cruzan Blackstrap. All of those flavors together are going to give that big, rich, dark, funky rum that pirates and sailors back then would have been tasting. So, I'm gonna start out with an ounce and a half of Smith & Cross here. I love Smith & Cross, man. I could just drink this every day. Ounce and a half of that. Next up, we want to preserve that navel proof um, for our final rum blend. So I'm gonna be using three quarters of an ounce of OFTD here. and then three quarters of an ounce of Cruzon Blackstrap. And because that this is an 80 proof, well, this is a, a uh, oh boy, a uh, OFTD proof, according to the label, it's 69% alcohol. Those are all going to kind of average out to be about 55% alcohol, still well in that gunpowder strength of proof that we want. Now, next up, it wouldn't be a grog if you didn't have some lime in here. We're gonna be using a full ounce of lime juice there. Lime, of course, was uh, implemented by the British Navy into the sailor's rum rations to prevent scurvy from happening. And then last but not least, we've got this house-made 
five spice infused Demerara sugar syrup. Demerara is simply just unrefined sugar. If you've ever had sugar in the raw, exact same thing. We've infused it with the Chinese five spice powder. I was inspired from Jeff Beachbum Berry's book, Potions of the Caribbean, and uh, a recipe in there for Father Labatt, a Franciscan monk turned pirate in his personal punch, he would use a spice infused water. So we just infused those spices right here into the syrup itself. I'm using three quarters of an ounce of that as well. Now we've got all these, we're gonna add some ice and we're gonna shake. Next, you're going to take your glass and we're gonna be rimming this in Hawaiian black salt. Now, when you go to rim a cocktail, you need to have something that's going to be tacky enough to really keep that salt here. What I have actually in here is Rose's Lime Cordial, but I've thickened it with just a little bit more sugar to produce an even more viscous syrup and that should be enough to keep this Hawaiian black salt on the rim for the nice effect. We want it to look like a gunpowder burn on the top of this skull's head here, right? So you see that? That looks beautiful. Pour your drink into the glass. And now here comes the fun part. So I've got over here, this is actually, was originally designed to be a gravity hookah, but it makes a perfectly good culinary smoker here. This is by Student Glass, and of course it is the Cypress Hill Dr. Green Thumb edition. Don't do drugs, kids. I have mesquite chips. We're gonna be putting that here in the bowl. I'm gonna come here. Creme brulee torch. I, you certainly wouldn't use that for anything else other than making delicious French desserts, of course. And then as I turn that, we're gonna just start smoking this cocktail under here and you're just gonna keep on twisting that as it goes. Got enough smoke at this point. Let's carb it, not that I know what that means. And just let that all sit there. I look very mysterious when I do this. You're gonna let that sit and just absorb that mesquite that's down in there. Just get that real nice and infused. And this whole time, of course, you hope to God that this is not going to set off the fire alarms in this place or we're gonna have a really bad time tonight. As I finish clearing the smoke from the hookah, I'm excited to try it. Let's do this. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Arr, I Arr. <laughs> mm. So Smith and Cross, right off the bat, <laughs> it's the most obvious. I mean, there's a lot of booze in here and it's delicious. <laughs> the blackstrap rum, like that little molasses on the back of the mouth. Uh, yeah, the this is a great, yeah. great drink. Love it. <laughs> I think at the base of everything we do, there's this idea of adventure and magic. If we can, you know, create an incredible experience for people, how wonderful is that? Keep surprising people and keep taking them to places they never imagined. We just want to project wonder. I'm wondering how I'm going to walk home after this <laughs> drink. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I speak for both of us when I say we really appreciate you coming out. Thank you. Um... My supporters on Patreon get access to exclusive content like deleted scenes, extended interviews, more vlogs, photos I don't post anywhere else, and early access to my videos. You can even ask me questions in a monthly Q&A while drinking a cocktail I taught you how to make. All of these benefits and more for the price of a coffee from your local coffee shop. 
What a deal. That's patreon.com forward slash mabig. Thank you so much for your support. <laughs>